was going to mention something. <laughs> you know, this has bothered me for a long time. Um, we can't get good things here a lot of times. And this is always kind of a puzzler. You know, there's, there's really good things, products being made in the world that we can't get our hands on or it's very difficult or very expensive. But the garbage that comes out of China, oh man, no problem. <laughs> you know, uh, it was brought to mind today again. I was going down this sweetest rabbit hole. In the comments about the cookware stuff, uh, somebody had mentioned the frying pan, a hunter's steel frying pan from Edvardsson, Edvardsson, in Sweden. So I thought, well, I'll look this up and see what's available. And uh, perhaps not exactly what I want for, for this set that I'm making, but just as a good, all-purpose, uh, living off the land kind of frying pan, this was a great thing. Uh, uh, terrific. Uh, but now you're you're dealing <laughs> with Sweden. This isn't just uh, limited to Sweden. I run into the same thing in anything from from Britain or from. Like Germany, uh, a lot of times, I run into this with motorcycle parts all the time. Somebody will have a part that I want, but it's in a country that the shipping is going to kill it. And that's what is the problem here. Like these pans, you know, it's a nice high carbon steel folding handle frying pan which is really a great thing and this design has been around since the medieval days, you know. It's a, a very practical design. So, yeah, I thought, hey, not bad, why, okay. It's like 400 kroner, which is like 35, 40 dollars. That's acceptable for what it is, not a bad price. But to have it shipped here is going to cost you more than that. So, like, we can get stuff shipped from China for free. You know, uh, it's silly a lot of times. But for some reason, those European countries, if we try to ship something from there, it's just cost prohibitive. And now this is the kind of thing that... Our State Department is actually there for to promote trade, but we don't do that. You know, we well, like we have special trade with China, but with with our allies in Europe, we don't. So, and I don't know why. You know, you'd think somebody would in this country would go ahead and. Buy a bunch of that and and to be able to resell it because there's a demand for it. Um, like this little simple frying pan has great reviews. A lot of people really like them. It's kind of ideal for a certain situation. But if you try to look for them here even on your Amazon, though you can get a, I think, the Amazon in Germany has them, but there again, you're stuck with the same shipping problems. And that's actually from a different company, but it's very similar. You know, they're not fancy. Uh, uh, there's no reason they can't be made. In fact, I, I think uh, someplace around here, I have a uh, rather large circle saw blade and I have a forge, and there's no reason I couldn't make one of these. They, they aren't that complex. But I find it aggravating that this, you know, like this, the same, this Edwardson's company makes a lot of really good high-end stuff that it would be great to have available. But the shipping always kills it. 
And I don't know why it has to be that way. You know, you'd, I don't know why we can't have good things. Why we can't be able, you know, if there's somebody making something, and like I say, there are allies. I mean, we're on the verge of going to war with China, but yet they have a, a special trading relationship that they can ship the stuff over so cheap. But our allies, the, them we can't buy from. It's a funny situation. But <laughs> I'll probably end up having to buy one of these. Uh, I, I like it, not like I say for that set, but for what it is. A great little portable frying pan without some non-stick nonsense going on. Because everything you look, if, if you look here for that sort of thing, it's going to have some of that on it. You know, that's just the way it works. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing. But like I say, I run into this all the time, where there are very good products being made, uh, many of them made by hand, by craftsmen who know what they're doing, but then we can't buy. We can't have good things. But it's a shame, you know, you should, that kind of trade should be promoted. But it's actually even very hard to find that stuff. It's out there. You know, like I say, them, uh, them wool socks that I got that are out of Canada. You don't run into them in stores. Why? I don't know. <laughs> You know, they're a fantastic sock. It's funny, you know, I, I really wish that somebody would would get their act together and actually make a great effort to make this stuff available. You know, I, 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 a lot of times I hear from people about the layman's store uh, it always aggravates me a little because they're kind of doing that. They're kind of getting the good stuff together, the stuff that's hard to find, and reselling it. But that stuff is out there. All they're doing is getting it together, I would like, and, and making considerable profit off of it. You know, it, it's in that way, it's kind of a ripoff. You know, I would like to think that this stuff should be able to be bought at the normal price that the manufacturer intended it to be sold at. But it just has to be made available. But for some reason, we don't work that way. So, you search. Uh, you know, it, it, but I spent, God, probably close to two hours digging around through this, trying to find a way of doing this cleanly. And you really can't. Uh, no matter how you look at it, it's going to cost you a lot of money. You're going to end up paying like over $100 to get a frying pan, a small frying pan. Well, like I say, when it gets up there, you know, and there are people in this country who kind of are making knockoffs of it for the the rendezvous cruise, you know. But I would actually like to buy <laughs> from the people who originally made them. You know, I don't want the knockoff version. I mean, if I want that, I can build one myself. You know, and I, I might end up doing that. Uh, but that is, there's a, it's an odd state of affairs that I don't really see the answer to, but I don't know why, well, like I say, it really goes back to, like, our State Department. You know, you should be encouraging commerce. And that, that isn't very encouraging. I don't know, I, I'll have to poke around on this some more. But like I say, there's a good chance I'll end up having to make one. 
of that design because it's not a, a particularly complicated design, but it, it has to be done right. But I, I have the ability to do it. But I just think that these kind of things, you know, the really good stuff should be commonly available, not the cheap crap that we are trying to be sold all the time. Well, we'll see what, you know, but the guy was right. I mean, he said, you know, Primus for the pots. Yeah, okay, I can see that. You know, Primus has been around a long time and they do things right. This company I hadn't heard of before, but they're doing this right. They're doing a lot of stuff right. But a lot of these, the products that the Swedes or any of the Scandinavian countries that they make, they're really top-notch products made for real-world conditions. You know, and I'd like to see them more available.